Hey everybody, Robin Taylor with Taylor Freelance, here to show you how to install the Taylor Freelance Canic Mate backstrap. So, starting with my new Canic Mate, pushing out the, the cross pin that holds the backstrap on. Come on, there we go. Backstrap off. New backstrap. Now the temptation is to immediately attach it and go, and go to town. I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is take whichever backstrap you buy from us, whether it's the brass one or a, or a FDE one or a bright red aluminum one or whatever one you get. And I want you to take the little Torx head that you get in the official Canic wrench and then mate, mate it up with the screw or even do it by hand. But I want you to carefully put that screw into the threads first so that you feel so that you feel for yourself how little pressure is involved to run it in and out. And you verify for yourself that the threads are clean. You also notice it only goes in that far and stops. If, for any, if this cross threads or anything goes wrong and you get ahead of yourself and you put some pressure on this, you will break this off. This is a weakness in the design itself. It's, if everything goes fine, it's great. But if it gets cross threaded or comes to a stop early for some reason, it's very easy to break the head off the screw. If you break the head off the screw, then you'll, the shaft of the screw will still be holding the magwell on, you'll have to tear it off, and you will be a really grumpy customer. So, careful, 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 make sure this is clean and smooth as it goes in. And no wrench handle, just, just the tip. And once you get the back strap on the gun, slide your Mechanic magwell back on there. Drop the screw in the hole. Now the screw hole will likely be slightly offset, which is intentional. Um, we want to have a little bit of tension, but just a teeny bit. So drop that in there, get your wrench. What I like to do is pull this on with my hand, pull it backwards and the back strap forward at the same time to help make, get that hole to line up. And then take your time to make sure that you have that same smooth feel and you're not trying to force it at all. You should be able to do this just with the, just with the little wrench head, not the wrench itself. And once it's all the way in there, as, you, as far as you can go with your fingertips, then you get the wrench out and tighten it gently. Notice I'm not putting, I'm just using two fingers here. Kind of the teacup tightening method. That's all you need. Again, if you get aggressive about this, about this process, and you put any sort of muscle on it, you will break the head of the screw off, and then we're going to have a world of hurt. So don't do that. Um, we're working on a new magwell for the Mate that will use a more robust attachment system, and that's what this, that's what this bolt you see here, pre-supplied with the gun, is. We're going to work on making a magwell that uses that larger, heavier bolt to pull backwards and do some different things, so we're we're not worried about breaking the little screw. But anyway, that's basically how it goes. Got to put my, my cross pin back in. But that's the install. Taylor Freelance brass, brass backstrap on the new Canic Mate.